last week was uh, another interesting, you know, uh, week for us. You know, the guys continue to put themselves in position to win games, and uh, you know, kind of faltered uh, towards the end there. A uh, few miscues. Um, overall, you know, definitely pleased with the level of competitiveness that they're bringing. Um, you know, every day, every game, to put us in a position to to make a play or two to have an opportunity to win. Um, and we're still learning and growing as, as we get into those moments more and more, uh, hoping that, um, you know, we can kind of break through that ceiling at some point. Well, you know, honestly, I think their play is keeping them confident. Um, it's not as if, you know, they haven't played good ball. Um, what we're trying to do is uh, become the team that makes the fewest mistakes, you know, because right now when, when the game is a one or two possession game, it comes down to who makes the fewest mistakes. And, you know, right now as you watch the game, you might go into the last possession, but really if you analyze the game from the beginning all the way to the end, uh, there are a number of different things that happen throughout the game that are actually habitual things that we still have to work on um, so that we're not in that position. Um, if you watch, say, the game on Saturday where we had uh, a turnover, a very simple turnover inbounding the ball, and the team hits a three-point shot, you know, you can take that play, and there are others like that as you watch the game. So it never comes down to the last possession. It comes down to the way that the game is played. They are playing good enough basketball to have confidence, you know, so I don't know if it's coming from me. Um, we do continue to encourage, but their play is what's encouraging them right now. You know, I, I think the spirit is, I think the spirit is high, not due to the record, um, but again, due to the fact that they are persevering. You know, um, they, it's, I think it's a team that, uh, you know, has decided that, that this obstacle that we're going through, um, the only way we can get through it is if they unite and work together. And I think they've, they're bonding well. Um, that way, as um, as a coach, to be honest, my my role uh, right now is to make sure that, like you said, they do stay encouraged. That um, we do celebrate the small victories that we are having because there are plenty. I'm not going to focus on one play or one bad possession to determine that as us playing or not playing a good game. You know, um, so again, we're trying to really do a good job to make sure that they understand that part of it. It means a lot because, uh, you know, his reactions, his body language, how he engages the team really kind of uh, you know, will determine w w which way we go. I mean, John is a very important part of our team. He, he, uh, he, he really is. I'm not going to sit here and say that he's not. So how John feels does impact the whole. He is the senior. He is the, you know, best player on the team. Um, and John is doing a really good job of keeping the young guys engaged and keeping them encouraged. He's not into John. John is into our team, which is something that, um, you know, we're all, you know, really encouraged by and, you know, we'll keep encouraging him to be that, not only now, but, you know, as he grows and becomes a professional basketball player. You know, honestly, our focus is, you know, is us. You know, we, we have our, our system in, in play. Uh, you know, we'll have matchups. Uh, it doesn't matter who, who we play. We, we really do just try to defend everyone. We respect every team. You know, um, this is Division One basketball. Whether you're averaging nine or averaging 12, you, you can score 20. You know, that's just how it works. Um, as far as us shutting down Middle Tennessee, we just have to be better doing the things that we do. Um, again, we, we don't reinvent the wheel we'll week to week. You know, we just try to continue to sharpen and tighten the bolts and the things that we do. You know, this is for now, it is for the development of the players. You know, we're trying to just get better, better, you know, by 1% every week if we can. And if we can do that individually, then as a team, we become better. Um, I, I, he's trying really hard. Um, you know, we, we're trying to manage him well. It, it is hard to, to practice hard and play hard when, when you're not healthy, you know, so he's not becoming sharper in practice. That's the hard part for him right now, really limiting how much I pound, um, you know, his legs with, you know, talking to our trainer and our strength coach. Um, you know, we really have to manage him well. So um, how he feels is really a gay game to game kind of day to day things. Exactly. You know, and honestly, and it's the same thing with, you know, some of the other guys, you know, um, Malik has his moments where you're like, wow, that's really good. And then you're like, well, I can't believe he made that mistake. You, know, you can go through every freshman and you can see the same exact thing. You go Drayvon and say, wow, that's a great attack to a closeout and spin move for an N1. And then on the other side, 
you rest on defense and give up a layup. You know, Cooper Rob, you come down and take a charge, and then you come down and you have a miscue on a pass. You know, that's, that is the freshman, you know, that, that we see. And it's, I mean, it's not only our guys, that's kind of the growth of players as, as they develop. I think it's progressing. You know, if you look at our numbers, I think our numbers are, are very positive. Um, overall, you know, three-point field goal defense, you know, um, field goal, overall field goal percentage, um, the number of points that we are, that we are allowing. Um, you know, a lot of things are trending in the right direction. Um, the challenge with our guys is that, you know, they do play a lot of minutes and, you know, you got to get, stay locked in and, you know, playing through fatigue, everybody knows is, is a challenge. Um, and I give them tremendous credit because they do try, you know, Malik, you know, doesn't have those two turnovers on purpose. Those things happen by mistake and they, and hopefully they can grow and, and learn from those. Um, we'll continue to encourage them. I love their effort. I love their heart. I love their competitive nature. Um, and, and they are a joy to coach. Uh, Subway sandwiches today was uh, an interesting experience for me personally. Um, I got a quick tutorial and, and the, the, the good thing is I didn't screw, in, screw up anybody's order. Nobody came back complaining, but we're just trying to, you know, raise funds and, and awareness again to, um, you know, the cancer, coaches, coaches versus cancer. It's been a campaign that's been going on for a long time. It's, I think it's a very important part of what we do to use our platform to attack this awful disease. So many people um, have experienced, you know, so much negativity because of it. And if this is a small part of us as a, as a unified group, you know, to attack this disease, you know, I'm just honored to be a part of it.